Hello everyone and welcome to the Canadian Redneck Channel. My name's Dave and we're here at my good friend Kevin's place. Uh, it's uh, the middle of deer season here in New Brunswick. That's why we got the old Hunter's Orange on. And uh, I thought it was an excellent time to uh, do a little ballistic comparison here. A lot of people on the internet are questioning the validity of an SKS as a hunting rifle. And so uh, we're going to do a comparison between the SKS and the 3030 Winchester. Uh, arguably the round that's taken the most game in North America. So I've got my 1952 SKS shooting 762 by 39 uh, Barnall in this case, 125 grain. And my good friend Kevin has his uh, uh, Winchester, 1894 Winchester. Uh, with, what is it, Kevin? The, we're undetermined weight 30 30 rounds. We're not sure. Uh, what the grain is on these. Uh, 3030 Winchester was first introduced in 1895 as the Winchester Center Fire and has since then been probably the most popular game round in North America. So we'll get the camera set up. We've got our ballistic gel target here and uh, we'll get the camera set up for a good shot. Get things on the road. We've got our target set up. We've got 18 inches of gel in front of a, a box full of catalogs as a bullet trap. So hopefully we'll be able to capture the bullet at the end. I'm going to be downrange that way about 20-25 uh, about yards. <laughs> yeah, not even a chance of capture. I hit high and I didn't have that angled especially well. We're going to have to try that again. Get a good hit on the gel. Into the second block. And a capture. Good. Although some of it did go on back through into the box. We'll check that out. Alright, now we'll put a shot on with the SKS. I'll try to get a little bit more to the right side with the SKS. I was, I was uh, just left the middle with the 30-30. Okay, excellent. Good hit with the SKS into the second block and the capture. <laughs> That's kind of funny. About exactly the same distance through with both. Uh, these two blocks together are just about 18 inches, and you can see them just inside the end of the block at about 17 and a half inches. So. We'll start out with the first block of gel here. We'll take a slice through the midsection. So we'll see the permanent cavity. So we've opened the blocks up. And on this side is the 30-30 round. And it opens things up pretty good. That's a pretty good permanent cavity probably five to six inch permanent cavity and pretty similar with the SKS the 762 by 39 right through that front block into the second block we split it in the middle too so right around 13 14 inches 30 30 is still opening up about an inch and a half to two inch permanent cavity open up pretty good the SKS doesn't carry the damage through as far the 762 by 39 could be bullet composition because the 3030 of course has a copper jacketed round and the 762 by 39 that I'm using is steel jacket the uh, the 762 by 39 round held together better but the 3030 round seems to have uh, 
pass more shock into the block. But they went exactly the same distance through the block. They stopped just inside the end of the block. Both traveled about 17 and a half inches roughly. And there's another little piece of the 30-30 round in there. There it is. But anyway, uh, both, both traveled through about the same amount. Just looks like the uh, 762 by 39 round maybe ran out of energy a little faster. Well, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you found it useful, helpful, entertaining. And uh, special thanks to my friend Kevin here for allowing me to use his 3030 for this video and shooting up half a box of ammo trying to hit the block of ballistics gel. And uh, as always, like, share, subscribe. Have a great day.